Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I have got a ton, probably more than I've ever worn in a week in this video. Um, I was able to wear multiple fragrances in a day, like every single day though, so, uh, well, almost every single day. So I'm gonna jump right in because I've got a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one here. This was sent over to me by one of my absolute loves, um, a subscriber, and this is a fragrance from Latafa called uh, this is gorgeous, you guys. This is like an intensely sweet, slightly fruity floral with, I think, a vanilla in the base. Yeah, it's definitely got like a smooth, sweet, yummy vanilla in the base. It's got some woods in it, but it's like just a really intensely sweet, slightly fruity, a little bit floral, woody vanilla. It's amazing. I love it. I am obsessed with this bottle. I think the bottle is absolutely stunning, and I love this. I wore this. Um, I came home, and I had worn something else in the morning. I can't remember what, but I had worn something else in the morning, and then I came home and sprayed this on in the afternoon because whatever I had sprayed on that morning had kind of faded away. Yeah, I can't remember what I did, or maybe I didn't wear anything that morning. Maybe I forgot to put perfume on in the morning. That could be it, because I just remember spraying this on later in the afternoon, like at when I got home from my part-time job. It was like one o'clock in the afternoon, probably not even one o'clock. It was probably like 12.45 or something. And I sprayed this on and I could still smell it on myself when I got up to go to work the next morning and went to take a shower. And even after I took a shower, I could, I was still kind of getting whiffs of it. It's nuclear. This thing is nuclear and I love it. And it's somehow gotten better from the time I, the first time I ever sprayed it, I always loved it, but something about like getting some, just getting a, a, bot, a brand new bottle of perfume going and letting it sit for a little while, I don't care what kind of perfume it is, it always seems to get better. And that this one has. Something about the vanilla in this one has really like richened up or something, I don't know. I love it though. So anyways, that is Latafa Ajwad. Um, I'm obsessed with Latafa. I, want, I need to get on Triple Traders and do like a whole Latafa um, haul, but a lot of the ones that I want are sold out or were sold out last time I looked. I need to get on and check it out again to see if any of them have come back in stock. But yeah, I want to do a whole Latafa haul because I think that they are incredible for the price. I just think they're amazing fragrances. And I'm just obsessed with Middle Eastern fragrances in general. I just think that they're some of the best, but it is the cradle of the creation of perfume, so it makes sense. So Perlinera sent over full bottles of the enti their entire line of perfumes. And I am obsessed. I have been able to test so many on my skin. So anyways, each line, if you remember, there was the Collezion Flora, the Collezion Orientaire, the Collezion Orientaire Intense, I believe, and then the Collezion Artigianale, I think is how you say that, basically their artisanal line. Each line has a different bottle design. Actually, two of the lines have the same bottle design, but there are three bottle designs in total and they are stunning. So the first line we're gonna talk about, the ones that I wore from this line. This is the Collezion Flora and this is the fragrance called Delizia. You guys, look at these full bottles. These are absolutely stunning. They're very, very heavy, very well made, high quality, thick glass. This is like printed on the bottle so this isn't like a label that's like stuck on your bottle. Yeah, this it's actually like part of the bottle. It's beautiful. It makes it very high quality, and it is. And then this beautiful lid with this gorgeous like intricate design on it. I mean, these are beautiful, you guys. I cannot recommend this house to you enough. Just the quality and after having worn all of these fragrances, oh, I am obsessed. 
So this one is called Delizia. This one is kind of slightly sweet, a little bit floral. It's gorgeous. It's a warm floral, and you guys know I'm on a warm floral kick lately. It's sweet. It's it's got a brightness in the top though. Probably citruses. It's stunning. I am obsessed with this. They all perform differently. So this one, um, they all perform really well. Like you're gonna get a ton, like a very long wear time out of them, but some of them are like nuclear as far as projection goes, as far as um, longevity, sillage, everything. They're like nuclear. And then some of them are like normal. They will last forever. You're gonna get eight plus hours out of any of these that you wear but some of them will only project for you know a couple of hours and then they'll start to wear a little bit closer to the skin this one was like that this one projected for probably a good two hours and then started to wear kind of close to the skin i don't want to say it definitely wasn't like a skin scent or wasn't anything that like faded away or that i couldn't smell anymore but it just wasn't quite as much of a beast as it was when I first, you know, the first couple hours I was wearing it. Eight plus hours out of these. These were ones that I wore these to work all week. So I went into the office more this week than I normally would just because of the holidays. And I leave the house at 6.30 in the morning on those days. And then I get home at about 12.45. So these, I just didn't reapply them. And then I would wait until the evening. And then if they had worn off enough by the evening I was able to spray something else on this one did it had worn off enough by about six o'clock in that that evening that I was able to spray something else on but it was still kind of there I had to wear something that was kind of complimentary if that makes any sense so anyways just beautiful this is from the Colesion Flora it's called Delizia just beautiful bottles of fragrance. Okay, and then the next one from the Colesion Flora that I wore is this one here called Luna. Um, I do have an unopened bottle too because I wanted to show you guys the packaging that it comes in and kind of what they look like when you, you know, when you get them. I'm, you guys, I'm like thoroughly obsessed with this line of perfumes. I'm gonna be wearing them for, I did not keep all 20. <laughs> um, I definitely am gifting some of them because, you know, I didn't feel right keeping all 20 bottles. Just, like, I just felt like that was, I don't know. But anyways, I did keep, I think between my husband and I, he kept one bottle and I think I kept 10. So I think we kept 11 bottles. <laughs> um, and then I will be gifting the other nine. But anyways, this one here is called Luna. And again, let me just show you these. This beautiful bottle, the gorgeous label. I love the red bottles. I just think that the red bottles are beautiful with the gold lids. I do also want to make some clarifications because I have been really confused about the whole Swiss Arabian Maison d'Orient. So I did get some clarification around it. And I also want to tell you, not only do they have perfumes, they have, um, they have home fragrances as well. They've got candles and diffusers. They have incense which, ugh, the incense look absolutely gorgeous. So they're like Perlinera incense. They look gorgeous. They have got Arabian incense, which is Bakur. So I wanted to just, <laughs> because I've been so confused about it myself, I wanna say I remember getting an email, or get because I do subscribe to the email list for Swiss Arabian, and I don't know, for whatever reason, I got it in my mind that Swiss Arabian had rebranded to Maison d'Orient, which is not at all the case. He says Maison d'Orient is not Swiss Arabian. Maison d'Orient is not Swiss Arabian. Maison d'Orient is its own line, like its own thing. Um, Perlinera is also like its own thing. It's it, it's its own line. Perlinera is a small indie brand that is part of Maison d'Orient, but not the same line. They're just, they're associated. The headquarters of Maison d'Orient is based in Kuwait. Perlinera 
as a brand is a collaborative creation developed by skilled oil perfumery artisans from Kuwait and Bahrain with an Italian backed fragrance creation firm that produces fragrant compounds. A French firm too was involved, he says. So Maison d'Orient, which is based in Kuwait, basically helped, helped to foster Perlinera as a brand. So the reason why they don't really give you a note breakdown with Perlinera is because he says the whole ethos of Perlinera as an indie brand is to forget the notes and focus on the scents and what sensations they evoke. The brand revolves around, quote, perfumes designed to awaken and make people discover memories and sensations through the olfactory notes of fragrances. They're just beautiful, you guys. I cannot recommend them enough. I highly, highly recommend getting on the website. You can just Google Perlinera or you can go onto the Maison d'Orient website and you'll have to have a little look around to get to Perlinera or you can just Google Perlinera and it will come up. Um, I highly recommend getting the discovery kits. Um, you can get one or all of them. They're all amazing. I don't think that anybody would be disappointed. They're just stunning fragrances. Yes, these were all sent over to me, but I am hugely obsessed with the line. I just think that they're amazing. Um, I'm just such a fan of Middle Eastern fragrances. There's a quality and a longevity that you get with, with Middle Eastern fragrances that you just don't get with Western fragrances and I just love them. So anyways, this one is called Luna. Wow, I've been blabbing. This one, you guys, I am, I'm obsessed with this one too. This one is slightly fruity, fresh, crisp. This one smells like, it smells like it's got a combination of this really fresh, juicy, watery melon and like a really relaxing, mint, but mint in the way that you would find mint in Aqua de Joya, not mint in like a overbearing minty way, if that makes sense. It's beautiful. It's floral, very slightly sweet, fresh, crisp, super uplifting. These transform on the skin beautifully. You, they take every single one of them takes you on a journey. You do not end up smelling like what you started out smelling like. And they're, it, I mean, they're just stunning. They're stunning in a way that, I mean, I almost can't explain them. They are. There's another one. There's one called Chagra. I didn't wear it this week, but I am obsessed with it. It's the one that I was talking about when I did the, when I was going through the discovery set. And I was talking about how it reminded me of the 90s, those incense stands that you could walk into. You could find them in like head shops and just all over the place. And you could pick out like 10 sticks for a dollar or something. And the whole stand just had this really stunning like fragrance to it because it was all of the incense mixed together. And I was saying that Chagra kind of reminded me of that. I am obsessed with that fragrance. It is absolutely nuclear though. It is like one spray and you are good for 24 hours. It's so nuclear, but I'm obsessed with it. It's stunning. But anyways, yeah, this one is called Luna. This is amazing. It is a beautiful floral. So there's that one. Okay, the next one I wore is this one here called Fresco. So you can see we're, we've got a different bottle here. This is the Colesion Artigianale. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. But again, the bottle is beautiful. Um, this again is like printed on the bottle. It's not, it's not like a label that's going to come off. This is a beautiful dark green bottle. I don't know if the dark green is coming across on camera, but it's so pretty beautiful, heavy, heavy glass bottle, really weighted, really nice quality, plain black lid. Ugh, this one is so good too. This one is slightly sweet. It's really warm, warm, cozy, sweet, but still light. Like there's nothing heavy in this one at all. There's no there's not like a heavy wood note or there's no spice. It's light, sweet, warm, cozy, 
kind of smooth in the way that caramel is smooth. It's beautiful. This is another one. These all last forever. This was one though that I was able to put on at like 6.30 in the morning or you know, six o'clock in the morning. And by six o'clock in the evening, I was able to apply something else. Um, I had to put on something else that was complimentary to it because it wasn't gone, but it definitely wasn't like nuclear. Like Chagra, that's a fragrance that you will not be able to apply anything else that day. And you will not be able to apply anything else until you wash it off and start fresh because it's nuclear. Um, this one is not nuclear. It lasts forever, but if you apply something kind of complimentary to it, you can put something else on maybe like 12 hours later. I know it's crazy, but these, they're beast fragrances. So anyways, that is Fresco, such a beauty. And then the last one that I wore is this one here. You guys, this was like a dark horse. I did not realize how amazing this one was. Like when I was going through the discovery kit, I did not am I realize how amazing this one was until I went through and was smelling them again, figuring out which ones I wanted to keep. Um, this is from the Collection Orientaire, and this one is called Sarai. This is my favorite bottle. This is a beautiful, like, amber, kind of like a brownish amber colored bottle. It's going to be hard to get it to come through on camera. Maybe you can see it right there. It's this gorgeous, like, dark amber bottle. That's what it is, really. It's a dark amber bottle, again, with the beautiful label that is kind of printed or part of the glass. It's not like a stuck on label. The lid is just a beautiful gold lid. And then you've got this gorgeous tassel that has like this gold, detailed gold thing on it. Ugh. These are my absolute favorite bottles. I just think that they're stunning. I mean, having that sitting on your vanity, it looks very high end, very niche, just beautiful. So this one called Sarai, this is kind of like a, I think the description of this one is like smoky musk. It's kind of like a skin musk, which you guys know I am obsessed with musk fragrances right now. This has got like a sweet, it's sweet in the top, it's a little bit peppery, so it's like this peppery, sweet, kind of sm very lightly smoky, like in the lightest, like wisp of smoke possible, and very light, like the most delicate woods. So it's like this sweet, peppery, delicate wood, delicate smoke skin musk, and it is amazing. I think that this one is going to perform differently or not perform differently, but I think it's going to work differently on skin chemistry in the different seasons. So I wore this in the cold and in the cold, the sweetness kind of starts to fade away. You're left with this really beautiful, delicate, kind of woody, slightly peppery, like skin musk. But I have a feeling in the heat, the sweetness is going to stick around. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. I love this one. This one ended up being one of my favorites, and I didn't even realize it until, again, I revisited it. That's why I really, really suggest getting the discovery kits. One, all, whichever, you know, whichever one you think you would be most interested in. Maybe even just start with one discovery kit and, and wear every single fragrance in it thoroughly because they're so different. Once you start actually wearing them, they're so completely different on and they take you on such a journey that they really need to be experienced. They're stunning though, you guys. So anyways, that one is called Sarai. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm probably not. I'm probably butchering it and it deserves better, but I, you know, it is what it is. I'm the worst with pronunciations. So anyways, that is Sarai from Perlinera. This is like my, 
favorite new house. Oh no, and then let me show you, I wanted to show you, this is gonna be a forever long video, because I do wanna show you what the, what the boxes look like. So if you do want to order one of these, um, this is what it looks like. So that is the front of the box. This one is called Sama, and I forget what this one smells like. It does have an expiration date, so it does give you a manufactured date. This was manufactured in August, on August 9th of 22, and expires on, in July, on July 9th of 27, which I will probably have this until I die, <laughs> and um, because to me, perfume is never expired, unless it goes off, which I highly doubt any of these are gonna go off. So anyways, that is what the box looks like. They are gorgeous boxes. Um, you just open it, and then there's your perfume. And it's another one of my favorite, it's another one in my favorite bottle. I'm so obsessed with this bottle. So this one is called Sama. I haven't worn this one yet, but again, I just wanted to show you what the packaging looked like. And the sprayers, the sprayers are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they're just a beautiful fine mist. This is gonna be a wonderful one for uh, warm weather. This one is really unisex. It's kind of sweet and citrusy. It's a good one. I love it. So this is one that my husband and I could probably share because it's very unisex. It'll smell really good on either one of us. I didn't, I just noticed too, this has got a little black bead on the top of the like gold thing. They're just beautiful. I love these bottles. So anyways, that one is called Sama. Okay, moving on the rest. Okay, so um, I just wanted to quickly talk about this one. I didn't wear this, but my daughter wore it. She, we were going we were going to run errands one day and she said, mom, where's my perfume? <laughs> and I keep it in my, you know, with all the rest of my perfumes, with all the rest of my um, untamed perfumes. And this is her little perfume. This is Shaped by the Wild. And this is the, it says Artist Edition for Charlotte. And I think that's her husband's name there. And then that's her name there. And you guys have seen this before, but I just have to show it off again because it's a treasure, an absolute treasure in my, well, it's Charlotte's treasure, but it means the world to me as well. Um, and her husband did this design and Charlotte is obsessed with this perfume. This is her favorite perfume and she sprayed it on and she smelled amazing. And this is just beautiful. It's kind of slightly sweet, woody. Oh, it's a little bit resinous smelling. It's a stunner. She's coming out with it just, if she hasn't already, I think she might have a discovery kit on her site. Um, I saw where she is doing discovery kits and I am so excited for anybody that has not tried her perfumes yet. Holy cow, get your hands on one of her discovery kits and find a gem because her fragrances are amazing. And it's funny because Charlotte said, I told Charlotte, I was like, you're so lucky Charlotte that somebody, um, or I, I told her, you're so lucky Charlotte that she made this, that she and her husband made this bottle of perfume for you. Like it, it's so, so special. And she was like, I know she's just so grateful to have this. She loves it. It's so special to her. It's so special to both of us. So anyways, yeah, that is Shaped by the Wild from Untamed. It's such an amazing perfume house. Like, hands down my favorite. I, to me, those are niche perfumes. These are, to me, this is not indie. This is like niche. Um, I feel very strongly that you're gonna see her perfumes like on Lucky Scent one of these days, hopefully soon. They, that's where they belong. These are niche perfumes. These are the epitome of niche. These are better than 90% of the niche perfumes on the market that I've ever smelled. Um, they're so special. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about all of the genre of perfumes that I tested. I only tested three of those because my Andromeda's Moon order had come earlier, and it's funny because I haven't even put out my Andromeda's Moon haul video yet, um, but I am gonna put that up this week, so you're gonna get a sneak peek of some of the fragrances that I picked up from Andromeda's Moon that a beautiful subscriber sent over to me, and 
I am so in love with this house, you guys. So I te these are the three that I gave a full good wear test to. I did test two others on my hand as well. So anyways, the first one that we're gonna talk about is this one here. This is the LA Aroma. It is the line that they designed for women. This is the first one that I test. This is called Decadent Latte. This is the one that I was so, I was like dying to test. I want a full bottle of this perfume. This is stunning. It reminds me of Zerjoff Lyra, but if you added a beautiful, smooth, coffee note to it. If you can imagine that rich, smooth, caramely sweet, but with citrus in the top, that's the one thing that I really love about Lyra is it's got this gorgeous citrus in the top. So if you can just imagine that kind of citrusy, caramely goodness, but add this beautiful coffee note to it. It's gorgeous, I love it. So this is one that I will be picking up a full bottle of. I'm in heaven. It's amazing. So that is the first one I wore, a Decadent Latte. This one, I'm gonna tell you guys, all of these genre perfumes perform really, really well. I think I got a good six hours out of this one before I would even have needed to reapply. But as you guys know, I wore a million fragrances this week, so I just went ahead and applied something else. It, again, this didn't completely wear off. I did have to go in with something that was kind of complimentary to this because I could still smell it you know, very close on my skin. Even after six hours, it is beautiful. But I do think that after about six hours, I would probably want to reapply this, but it's amazing. I can't say enough good things about genre. Um, number one, the fragrances are amazing. They're so good. Number two, if you guys go back and look at the genre part, on the video that I did of, um, when I hauled these, the owner or somebody from the brand is in the comment section like interacting and is lovely. I mean just a lovely person. So so sweet. Left a really really nice comment and like I said was um, interacting with people and I just think that's amazing. What kind I mean that is serious customer service. I order from brand. These were sent to me by another subscriber so they were not sent by the brand. Um, and I order things from brands all the time. And every once in a while, the brand will see that you posted a video about their fragrances and they'll be lovely in the comment section. But a lot of the times they don't even acknowledge it, which is fine. I don't need acknowledgement ever because I am usually ordering and I'm testing and experiencing a brand for myself and to be able to review for you guys. So I don't ever expect any acknowledgement that a video is out there at all, but I think it's lovely when a brand does recognize that somebody has reviewed their fragrances and does recognize that there is a whole community of people that love their fragrances and that they take the time to recognize the people who are purchasing from them and supporting them. I think it's amazing. So yeah, I mean, hats off to this brand. They, to me, I mean, they're just like 10 out of 10. So anyways, that is Decadent Latte. It's a stunner. If you guys like Lyra, save your money and buy this because you can get a full bottle of this for $25 or $30 and you don't have to spend $300 on a bottle of Lyra. So that is the first one I tested. The second one that I tested is this one here called Apples and Aces. This was one that I was just dying to test and to get my nose on. I love this, you guys. This is, for me, this is like um, a woody, a boozy, woody, kind of smoky apple. It's sweet, it's super cozy, it's comforting, it's nostalgic in a very strange way. Like it makes you nostalgic for every fall season you've ever had in your life. It's so good, you guys. Again, sweet. And it's so funny because I think in the description, if I remember, in the description of this, it talks about how like it's setting this whole scene for you of being a kid and your parents are like having family over to play a card game and they're drinking, you know, adult beverages and 
they're, the wives are in the kitchen cooking or, you know, making goodies and your cool uncle walks in and he's the one that kind of smells a little bit like smoke and I think it says something about him having maybe a leather jacket on or something and you almost get that. Like you get this almost kind of smoky leather jacket note. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I cannot tell you enough how amazing these perfumes are. This one also reminds me of something just a touch like Middle Eastern. It's so good. I can't recommend them enough. This one, again, I got a good five, six hours out of before I would have needed to reapply, but then I just ended up applying something else. But I, I mean, I just can't, I still can't fathom the prices of these. Okay, the next one and the last one that I tested this week is this one here called Rouge et Blanc. Um, this one is really beautiful and this one does, this one really does smell very Middle Eastern to me. It smells like rich wood and citruses and spices. It really does smell like a beautiful, very good quality, like Middle Eastern fragrance. And you guys know how I feel about my Middle Eastern fragrances. I absolutely adore them. This is beautiful. It's got just a slight touch of sweetness to it. It's really warm. <sighs> this one, I think I got, again, I would say five or six hours out of it. I think there are some of these I think will perform better in warm weather or maybe perform a little bit differently in warm weather. I can't wait to test them all in um, all weather. It hasn't even gotten like really, really cold here yet. We're definitely still in fall here. We're definitely not even into winter at all. Um, it's still getting pretty warm in the days. Like, I mean, we're having some days where it's getting up to like 68 degrees, which is, it's been amazing <laughs> to not be freezing this year. So um, anyways, yeah, that one is called Rouge et Blanc. I can't wait to test some of these in um, really cold weather and also warm weather. And then moving right along to Andromeda's Moon. I tested four of my Andromeda's Moon fragrances. Um, I hate that I didn't get this haul posted first before I'm talking about them in a what I wore last week video, but here we go. So the first one I tested is this one here. This is inspired by um, 10,019 Wonders and I forget, I'm gonna have to look up again because I forget who, oh yes, it's from Ex Nilo. I hope I'm saying that right. Yes, so this one is, so it's almond balanced by a blend of dates and caramel tinged with orange blossom, the ultimate fusion of cocoa and dark vanilla. So yeah, you can see why I picked this one up. This is beautiful. This is kind of slightly sweet. It's it's a it's like a dark powdered cocoa. You definitely get the orange blossom. I love this one because it's not overly sweet. It's kind of slightly musky. It's really, really beautiful. And I would say it's kind of a lighter scent. Um, it's kind of a lighter, slightly gourmand scent. And for being a lighter, kind of slightly gourmand scent, this thing lasted a good long time. I wanna say I got at least five hours out of it or so. I really, really love this one. This is one that I would absolutely consider buying a full bottle of. It's funny because these are make me, making me want to get samples of the real thing so I can test them side by side because a lot of these I have not smelled the original perfume, so I don't know if it's a good clone or not, but I have a feeling that it is. It smells so good, it's so nice. So that is the first one I tested out. That is called um, 10,019 Wonders, I guess that's how you say it, by Ex Nilo. Okay, oh, I tested five of Andromeda's Moon. The next one I tested is this one here. This is inspired by Elixir Charnel Gourmand Coquine from uh, Guerlain. I have a Duwa. The Duwa dupe of this is called, I think it's called Dark Chocolate Rum Vanilla. And they're, they're both so similar. This one is smoother though. The chocolate in this, the chocolate note in the Andromeda's Moon is a little bit more refined smelling. This one is just smoother. The Dua one is beautiful. And it's, the Dua one is stronger, but this one's just a little bit smoother. It's really, really beautiful. It's got, 
It's a little bit powdered. It's slightly sweet. It's got this beautiful dark chocolate note in it. It's gorgeous. I love it. If you're looking for a dupe, a good dupe of Gourmand Coquine, I think you would really like this one. I think this one smells closer to the real thing than the Dua version does. Um, yeah, this one is, for me, I think this one's a little bit closer to the original. So anyways, oh, this one is, this one doesn't last super long. Neither does the Dua version actually. Um, I think it's just because they're just kind of lighter fragrances and the, and Gourmand Coquine is kind of a lighter fragrance. Um, I went through a decant of Gourmand Coquine and I don't remember ever getting more than maybe four or so hours out of Gourmand Coquine. It's just not like a beast of a fragrance. It's just by nature, it's one of those fragrances that you're just, you know, you're gonna have to reapply it at some point. I think it's an amazing clone and I really love this one. This was has been one of my favorites so far. Um, I just think it's such a good dupe. So anyways, that is inspired by Elixir Charnel Gourmand Coquine, such a good one. Okay, next I've got this one here. This is inspired by Dama Bianca from Zerjoff. I've never smelled the original or the real Dama Bianca. This is absolutely stunning. This is such a beautiful fragrance. This one is kind of, it's citrusy and slightly sweet. It's light, it's a little bit powdery. It's gorgeous. It's really cozy, it's kind of skin-like. It's beautiful. This one does wear closer to the skin as well. Um, it'll project for maybe 30 minutes to an hour or so, and then after that it does wear quite close to the skin. But I was able to smell this for a good five or six hours. Um, I did wear this to my part-time job, which I work five-hour shifts there, and I sprayed it on before I left and I could still smell it when I got home. By the time I got home, it was pretty, it was wearing away and it was very close to the skin, but I could still smell it and that was a good probably six hours later. Um, so yeah, this is a beauty. I definitely want to pick up a decant of the real thing to compare them and um, yeah, because that will that will help me decide if I want to get a full bottle of this or not. I love the way it smells and I would love a full bottle of it. So anyways, that is the, uh, that is inspired by Dama Bianca from Zerja. Okay, next I wore this one here. This is inspired by Vanilla Diorama from Dior. This one, you guys, is awesome. I love this one so much and or I have not smelled the real Dior Vanilla Diorama but I'm very, very familiar with this line from Dior, or a lot of them, I should say. There are a lot I haven't smelled, but there are a lot that I have. And I feel like this is gonna be an amazing dupe. I can't say for sure, but I just have a feeling. It smells like a Dior from that line. I mean, it's and as soon as I sprayed it on me and it settled on my skin, it smelled like a Dior. I felt like I just sprayed on a Dior. It's got that, it's definitely that same Dior vanilla smell. Oh, I love this one. This is one, again, that I would absolutely love a full bottle of it. It's beautiful. Um, this one lasted a long time too. I put, I sprayed this one on Ooh, I wanna say about five o'clock in the evening and I could still smell it on myself when I went to bed that night. It is a lighter fragrance. It does wear closer to the skin, but I could still smell it on me. I could still smell it on my clothing. I could still smell it in my hair. Um, I love it. I love it so much. So anyways, that one is inspired by Vanilla Diorama. Such a good one. And then last but not least, this is one that I put a big dent in this because I went heavy, heavy with it because I thought that it was one that I needed to go heavy with. This one is inspired by Red Velvet Hot Chocolate. Um, this is a discontinued perfume and I'm gonna have to look up who makes this because I had never even heard of the house. Yeah, and it's not even, um, the house is indeed, this fragrance isn't even listed on Fragrantica. So I'm guessing that it's from an indie house, but it's called Red Velvet Hot Chocolate is the name of the perfume. If you Google it, you can find it. Um, this one I sprayed on before I went to bed 
one night and I went crazy with it. I sprayed a ton of it all over thinking because it's a chocolate based perfume, it's going to wear away really quickly. Boy, was I wrong. This is amazing. You guys. So I will tell you when you first spray it on the chocolate does smell pretty synthetic. It does smell like a hot chocolate powder chocolate. That's exactly what it smells like hot chocolate powder. But once this warms on your skin and starts projecting, it is divine. It is the most beautiful, sweet chocolate and vanilla fragrance. I think it's got, yeah, I think it's got just a touch of coconut in it that gives it that kind of cakey feel. It's so good, you guys. And I am telling you, this was still strong when I woke up the next morning. I was not expecting that at all. I was like, oh, it's a chocolate based perfume. It's going to wear off really quickly. No, this thing was strong. It was in my on my pajamas, in my hair. It was still I was still in this cloud of this fragrance. It was it's so good. It's so good. I need to get out my uh, Chaco Musk oil because I'm going to layer this over my Chaco Musk oil. Not that this fragrance needs it. This is actually a long lasting chocolate perfume. So it definitely doesn't need it, but I just want to try it that way. So this is a good one. This was again, one of my absolute favorites. I am obsessed. I will probably order a full bottle of this since you can't find the real thing anymore. Um, and it's so good. So anyways, this is inspired by red velvet hot chocolate. And that is going to be it guys. I know this was a super long video. I knew it was going to be because I wore so many fragrances this week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.